Hi everybody, it's Professor Williams and today I want to talk about margin of error as it relates to confidence intervals. So we remember that the whole point of a confidence interval is to accurately predict the actual value of a population parameter. And this margin of error is a representation of that accuracy and it has three components. Firstly, it has our level of confidence which is represented either by our Z alpha or our T alpha divided by 2. It's the number of standard deviations we need to move from our point estimate in order to construct the interval of interest. It's also made up of standard, the value of the standard deviation, whether that be population or sample. And then lastly, it's made up of our sample size because in essence when we go to predict a population parameter such as the mean we're going to begin in our point estimate and we're going to go plus or minus this margin of error. In other words the range of likely values of X is going to be estimated with whatever our desired degree of confidence is and we're going to estimate it to be between this lower and upper boundary of our confidence interval with our margin of error equal to E. So let's take a look at each of these three components individually. <clears throat> First is our level of confidence. So as our level of confidence increases, the margin of error also increases. So in this case we've constructed a 90 percent confidence interval. So 90 percent of the time our actual population parameter value will fall between this lower and this upper limit. And at a 90% level of confidence, we have this 10% falls outside of our interval. And so I've got 5% of that data is going to fall above the upper limit and 5% is going to fall below the limit. What's going to happen though when I go to say I want to be 95% confident. Um, in other words, 95% of the time the true population parameter will fall within my interval. Well, now at this 95% level of confidence, I only have 2.5% of the data below the lower boundary and 2.5% above. So what's happened is I've begun at my point estimate and I've moved further away up and further away down because what we know is it is point estimate plus error and point estimate minus error. So as my confidence level increases, the ends of my confidence interval move ever further and further away from my point estimate thereby increasing my margin of error. So what about standard deviation? Remember, standard deviation is simply a measure of the spread or variation within the data. So what we know is the more spread there is in our data, the greater our margin of error is going to be. And so we can look at that with a simple example. So I have a sample size of 40, population standard deviation of 8, gives me a standard error of the mean of 1.26. But what if in my same sample size of 40 I had a standard deviation of 10? Now look what happens. My standard error of the mean increases. And as that increases, I'm moving ever further and further away from my point estimate. So the larger the standard deviation, the greater our margin of error. I cannot control the value of the population or sample standard deviation. But what I can do is I can control sample size. And what we know is that as sample size increases, we're able to decrease our margin of error. So we'll look at the same example. So I have an N of 40. I take a sample of 40. Population standard deviation of 8 gives me a standard error of 1.26. But what if I want less error in my estimation? I go back and I take a sample of 60 with that same population standard devi 
deviation of 8, and now my standard error has dropped to 1.03. So as standard deviation rises, our margin of error rises. As sample size rises, our margin of error falls. So much of the accuracy in our interval estimation of population parameters is going to be determined by this idea of a margin of error based on degree of confidence, the amount of variation that exists within the sample or the population, and the size of our sample. As always, I hope that you found this useful, and thanks for watching.